Uh, hey guys, it's getting close to the holidays here and we've got a bit of rain up here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. I think we've got probably uh, four or five inches in the last uh, two days. So, um, just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about my channel. You know, this is uh, going on, say I started in uh, 2008, so it's, uh, it's 14 years. Yeah, it's coming up. When I first started this YouTube channel, the original intent was to help my clients out. So I did a lot of individual videos specifically on topics that could help them. So, you know, for instance, if I had a client with, you know, a decay issue or um, a weakness or a certain problem with, with a tree, and if I had it in my library of videos, then I could forward it to him. And about uh, seven, eight years ago, this channel kind of took on a life of its own. I think it happened after I did the first uh, video that went viral. That was the, the video um, uh, where we cut down the big redwood tree in, in the backyard and I milled it up. And I think that was a pretty good video actually. Um, so when that happened, I decided that I should really buckle down and I've tried hard to do at least one video a week. And I've been pretty consistent at that. Sometimes I get two videos a week. And, as a result of it, after 14 years of doing videos, I've reached uh, 1,012 videos. This will be 1,013. So this is my way of just saying uh, happy holidays to you. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of time off here uh, between Christmas and New Year's and all the guys have some time for their families. And I'm enjoying time with my family too. And I want to wrap this up a little bit with... Um, there's a, there's a group that probably most of you have heard of called Rush, and they did a song a few years ago that the lyrics of the song were really, really good. And I'd like to, I'd like to read them to you. It, as, it's, as it was sung as a song, I didn't like it as much as the words, so I'm going to read the, the lyrics somewhat more like a poem. So once again, happy holidays, be safe out there, and uh, we'll see you in the new year. From a song by Rush, written by Neil Pert. There is unrest in the forest, there is trouble with the trees, for the maples want more sunlight, and the oaks ignore their pleas. The trouble with the maples, and they're quite convinced they're right. They say the oaks are just too lofty, and they grab up all the light. But the oaks can't help their feelings if they like the way they're made. And they wonder why the maples can't be happy in their shade. There's trouble in the forest, and the creatures all have fled. As the maples scream oppression, and the oaks just shake their heads. So the maples formed a union and demanded equal rights. The oaks are just too greedy. We will make them give us light. Now there's no more oak oppression for they passed a noble law, and the trees are all kept equal by hatchet, axe, and saw. I like that story. <laughs> and we have a moderately large valley oak, Quercus lobata, and it is still leafed out, but the structural integrity of the trunk is in question. There is a considerable void down inside here that goes quite a ways in. And it actually goes all the way over to the other side. So that's, that's showing you just how far the defect goes. It goes all the way back over into here. There was a beehive at one time and they were able to save the bees, but they put insulation in there to um, redirect the hive so they could salvage it. And looking at the base of the tree, it is compromised all the way around. I was able to <laughs> knock on the bark and it, it just peeled off. There's big sections of bark that are, that are still coming off. Yeah, that shouldn't, I should not be able to pull the bark off. Oh, <laughs> a lizard just popped out. 
black widow spiders, bats, all kinds of critters in here. Look at this. Oh, there's another lizard. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a little bit of active tissue here and it's declining. So I'm going to say that this tree is whoa, more vermin. There's some active tissue here, but this wood is reasonably sound, but it's in different stages of decay. So I'm going to say the tree base of the tree is compromised by about 60 or more percent. There's a little bit of life in through here, but it hollows all the way through. So the diameter of this trunk is approximately 38 to 40 inches, measured four feet at the height, it's bigger at the base. The height of the tree is about 40 feet. And Unfortunately, I think I have to make the recommendation to remove this tree. All the way through, everywhere you look. It's just coming up. Oh, there goes another lizard. <laughs> What I'm looking for is any voids or any... See, the wood is pretty sound right here. That doesn't mean that it's healthy tissue, but if I found a real soft punky spot or an area where the wood was really, really decayed that went all the way through to the other side, then the, uh, the, the potential for the tree falling down sooner would be there. So, so my recommendation uh, is, because it's so close to the house, this tree's got to go. And on the positive side, further back on the property, they have two more valley oaks. And they are leaning over the garage, but not the house. But the base of this tree is considerably better off than the other one. This one over here, with all the stuff piled up around the base of it, has got a void at the base. Um, can't see all the way around. It doesn't look too bad over there. There is a decay pocket right here, which is just below the main Y of the tree. Uh, there's quite a bit of weight out there on that side. Another big, beautiful valley oak over on the other side. The Quercus lobata was a very, very prominent wild native tree in our area. And most areas have had some development of some sort that they put in houses around these trees. So the construction impact from foundations and trenching and everything that goes on for the development of a house or a building uh, compromises these trees. Not to mention all the old wounds. I see a wound there, a large wound there, one over there. Um, very little end weight has been taken off of this tree.